Good morning. Today is Monday, July 8th of 2024. This is the 190th weigh-in. Here, that sign is why you can't go in the park. I'm very sorry, but that's how it goes. You're a big mean dog and they're afraid of you. They don't want your kind in that beautiful park. I'm very sorry. Sometimes he sneaks across the park and I can stop. Luckily, I haven't been fine yet. Good afternoon. So, not, not a bad little day today so far. Uh, we're doing 115. Dang, those face pulls are getting heavy. I remember back in the day when I was in the gym, I'd be doing 30 pounds. Um... Although they're not really face pulls anymore. They're like high rows. So last night I got into it with my Fiverr guy. He again tried to accuse me of trying to get free work from him. And I had explained in great detail everything I had done because basically there was a certain universe of things that I had paid him for. And he took so long to do them that I ended up doing almost all of them. And then the last thing I needed, he acted as if it was outside of the scope. So I just, I just told him, if you feel like I'm trying to steal from you, that's fine. Then, you know, you're done. I'll, obviously, I already paid him. I said, I, I don't want you to feel bad about this. Like, <laughs> all I've ever done is try to be generous with him, be understanding when he does extensions and stuff. And then uh, he ended up saying, uh, oh, th this isn't working for me with you doing half the stuff, me doing half the stuff. Like, I don't even know if it's the same guy. Like, part of me wonders whether or not it's some kind of service over in India or Pakistan. And they have, like, different people run uh, different accounts because he, he's just so different from how he's been in the past. Or maybe just stuff, tough stuff's going on in his life. So... Um, you know, I wake up to the final message that he said he wasn't going to work on it. And then I got to work and <sighs> bashed my head against the wall for a little bit before I took Thor on a walk. And then I had a bit of an insight. And now I've been finally going down the right path. And we're inching closer and closer and making good progress. So I'm feeling good. Um, I think I think the, the whole issue that I've been working on for a while, I think it'll be done before I lift again. So I'm happy about that and happy about my triceps finally starting to show, which I am shamelessly just staring at the mirror at them. I don't think I could see it on the left side as much. Yeah, I've never had triceps. Like even when I got really lean, like they didn't bulge out and uh, they're starting to always, oh, oh my gosh, am I starting to get a horseshoe or is that just fat? <laughs> I think it's fat, but uh, yeah. So the horseshoe, the medial, the interior, the rear triceps, medial, medial lateral. I forget what the head names were. It's probably anterior, and this is the lateral, and this is the medial. But um, I'm, I'm feeling good. Um, House of the Dragon was wild. I, I got to be honest, I hate watching dragon fights, and when dragons die... I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like particularly close to dragons or feel like I have an affinity for them. I don't even think I like them as much as like the average person, much like bacon. Uh, the more people think, uh, more people like things, the more I'm not as much of a fan, ever the contrarian. But I think why it strikes me so much is I have an understanding of how rare they are. <laughs> so it's just like, Oh my gosh, if a dragon dies, like that's just devastating. Uh, yeah, gosh, I hate when, oh, that was the worst part about Game of Thrones, watching two of her dragons die. Oh, <laughs> I didn't care as much about the Red Wedding as when, uh, what, it, what, what is his name, Euron? Euron Greyjoy? When he uh, hit one of the dragons when it was flying around the corner. He hit him with his uh, spear gun of sorts. Oh, that was devastating. Or the one that died in, uh, 
when they were trying to rescue Jon Snow and his merry men north of the wall. Okay, let's do some lifting. But yeah, I, uh, you know, in a weird way, I think it was quite fortuitous that he ended up not finishing it because I did want to push it over the finish line myself. So it worked out. Uh, he gave me the refund, but it wasn't about the money. It wasn't, you know, I, I just wanted to be free from it. But now I, now that I feel like today this issue will be done, I really think by next Monday, I think the whole site will be ready up and deployed to my URL. Um, yeah, I'm feeling really good about it. This morning for a moment, I was like a little discouraged. And then I just thought, oh my gosh, like how far we've come in the last week, how, uh, how less developed it was, how I created this new like look and feel and new functionality and streamlined it. I mean, it's in my opinion, it's like so much better than it was last week. So just because I'm not as far as I hoped I would have been, that doesn't mean I haven't come real far. And I think I've lost like six and a half pounds this week. <laughs> even after that initial burst of weight loss. But that'll, that'll definitely slow down. I think we're gonna be at an average of three and a half pounds a week, about a half a pound a day. We'll say at least until I get to 240. That might be when it starts slowing down. So, what is that, another 180 days? Another six months, something like that. Yeah, good stuff. But we just roll with the changes, right? It's like REO Speedwagon taught us. Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Um, let me go back to these cuffs. And then if I find that it's uncomfortable, actually, I haven't felt my, my nerves in my finger uh, as much. So... Let me assume that it was because of those handles and just go ahead and put those things to good use. And I'll just do it with this movement, the face poles. On <laughs> Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. You got to, you got to keep on rolling. Okay. This weight balancing thing is weird. But we make do. <clears throat> Eight. Oh, wow. Nope. Dang, that was a wild ride. Whoo! Had to actually use some fibers on that one. It was like an instant pump, pump like a mid-set pump. Whew. Well now, wasn't that something? Yeah, these, these will work. It's a little awkward being a little further away my balance off a bit but that'll do pig that'll do uh and let's do the lap prayers first all i wanted was you and i gotta eat some lunch after this <sighs> I think, I think I'm good just repeating that chicken and apple for lunch. Good enough. I enjoy it. It's easy, quick. 
save the extravagant meals when I have the energy and the inclination. Uh, that chicken uh, last night was a good time, man. That's become like my greatest treat is uh, frozen breaded chicken with french fries. Like, oh man. Yeah, that's a good time. Okay. Uh. Nope. Oh, a little regression never hurt anybody. Oh, but I felt like I was using them good. I definitely got a pump, so that's good. Ooh, those lats are a Latin. I think I wrote the Bayesian curls wrong last time. Oh, pff. what am I doing? Wait, I just, yeah, I hit seven. The lap prayers went down one. Okay, so we're doing Bayesian curls for 110. Oh, I just started, uh, is it Dexter New Blood? The follow-up series on uh, Showtime. I didn't know Harrison found him in that. I would have watched it before now, but I'm glad I get to watch it fresh. Watch it now. Okay, and oh, the boys are getting decimated online with this episode from last week with, yeah. you could Google it, it's, it's awful. I can't believe how much he ruined that show. That first season, first season and a half, oh, so good. And I was even able to tolerate a lot of the BS last season, but gosh, it just keeps getting worse. It's just so gratuitous. Ugh, you know what I mean. And it's, it's like hateful, oh, it's, it's just wrong. And I don't mean the actual characters in the show, but, but just the motivations of the creator, you can tell it's perverse for perverse sake. I, I don't even understand it anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These crazies. Way to ruin a real good show though, huh, Kripke? Uh, ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, my. Two for three on the morning, not bad. Uh, good. Be right back.
hello again. We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. I love that little delayed pose. Like I'm a bodybuilder, they like to build a lot of drama before the movement. Or like with the quad stomp, Jay Cutler gets real loose, straight to flex. I'm not even doing it intentionally, but I am doing it. It's all about the drama. And also, like, I'm, they know, I'm not holding the poses long enough. They never hold them long enough. <clears throat> you see, when I'm staring at a man's body, I want, I want it to be totally still for at least 40 to 50 seconds to really study it, you know, to get details on every sinew of muscle. Like, oh, that's where it's at. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a minute. Good afternoon once again. How's everyone living? Got some 90 pound shrugs and you're welcome. You know it's a rare treat to get to see me in my sexy suspenders. So I hope you're enjoying it. Take out my watch. Might have been a little overly ambitious thinking everything was going to be done by the next time I lifted, but we are making progress. And that's what matters. Uh, it's so basically, <clears throat> what I didn't even realize, because I thought I had explained it in the beginning to the Fiverr guy if there's two profiles of people and you swipe right on one, that means it should register as a left swipe on the other. Simple, right? If you choose between two people, one wins, the other one has to lose. Apparently he had only tracked the, the right swipe and didn't count it as a loss for the one who wasn't swiped on. So now I'm having to program the database on the back end and the front end code. And it's proving to be a little tricky, at least for ChatGPT. Maybe if you're an experienced software engineer, it's easy enough. But I'm trying to think through ideas how to help it. But it's a little tricky to um, basically record the data, record, record an inaction, basically. So what it has to be is like, mm, the moment the two profiles load, you record, there are two profiles. One is swiped on, and that registers as a win, and then it needs to say, hey, what is the other profile? Oh, the other profile is this URL. Now, because it was not swiped on, it needs to be recorded as not swiped on. And then as not swiped on, uh, it's either uh, a no swipe win, because they left swiped the winner, uh, the, the, the swiper, you know, the, the swipe, swiped and the not swiped. So if they left swiped the swiped, or they, they did a left swipe on, on one person, then the other one invariably has a no swipe win. If you right swipe on somebody, the other person has a left swipe law, uh, a no swipe loss. So obviously this stuff's a little confusing, <laughs> but we're getting there. Now I'm gonna be getting there with my shrugs. Got some shrugs. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. 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 Mm. 
Nope. Seven it is. Okay. Remember to do that. There we go. Oh. Oh. I'll call that 12. Oh my gosh. Well now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, whew, <sighs> we might have finally found a good weight for these. Or at least now we'll be progressing at a normal rate. Wow, that was intense, whew. Tramp's got a workout there. <sighs> oh my goodness, my back. What a feeling. Those were legit. Uh, oh my goodness. That's a back pump. Oh, 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 oh dang. Oh, that's, that's up there with one of the best back pumps I got, I've had. It's like instant soreness, the whole back. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, that's how you're supposed to lift weights. Now just do that about 10,000 more times, right? <laughs> oh. Well now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> that sounds sarcastic, but probably is about 5,000 sets, right? Per muscle. Uh, 10, 10 a week, 500 a year, they say 10 years, so yeah, 5,000. <laughs> you just chip away at it, just one at a time. Not everyone has to be the Super Bowl, you don't have to have all this intensity, just, just chip away at it, right? Maybe if you go balls to the wall, it takes 4,000. And if you really go easy, it takes 6,000. And when I say easy, still the failure, but you just don't have the same intensity. Um, but ultimately, it's just a matter of time, right? And a matter of preference. Some people might want to chill out when they lift. I would say mine, despite the, the intensity in terms of the proximity to failure training, um, I don't know, <laughs> three sets, <laughs> Per workout, three workouts a day, uh, no more than, I don't know, 15 minutes at a time in front of the weights. It seems pretty easy to me. I don't break a sweat. Yeah. And I, I think I'm seeing pretty good growth. But we'll have to wait until all this fat comes off and then we could uh, compare what I looked like before all this training. Oh, yeah. I hope I don't get down to 170. <laughs> 190 has me looking emaciated. Oh, 10% body fat at 190 would be a treat for me. Oh, but it'll probably be like 180. I actually realized I haven't been isolating the biceps as much. That, that set, I just felt it. 
And instead of powering through, I figured let's just stick to the strict isolation. Uh, so seven it is. Regression in terms of weight, but progression in terms of stimulus, mind-muscle connection, technique, all that jazz. Uh, that was risky. Oh, 150 now. Wow, look at me. So this is 130, so 10 on each side and we're good to go. GTG. Plates, I'm getting a little lazy, a little relying on this bench. That's the thing, as you lose weight, you actually find that your body subconsciously does things to conserve energy. If you're not regularly sticking to a number, a certain number of steps, you'll find you, you just start walking less, start moving less, like fidgeting. I think there's studies that show the more, uh, not only like heavier people fidget more than lighter people, but that when uh, exposed to a higher calorie diet, they just naturally fidget more. And when exposed to a low calorie diet, you just naturally fidget less. <sighs> okay, uh, let's get it going. Come on, click for me. Stevie loves the click. There it is. That was good. Okay. Take this down back first. Let's take these bad boys off. They shouldn't even paint these things black. Like, if the paint's just gonna chip away, why even paint it black? Just leave it metal. Leave it the stainless steel look. Okay. Oops. I guess we'll... Okay, it's gotta go one way or the other, huh? Maybe I, oh no, I need two hands on the other one still. Oof, that's gonna go one of these days. The heavier it gets, the more likely it is. Okay, and I have a nose edge. Oh great, one. I'm almost interested to go into the gym and see how much I could do on the normal lap pull down machine. But then again, I don't want to burst my bubble if I feel like I'm getting a whole lot stronger. I don't think it would be good to <laughs> test that out and see behind the curtain. Oh, yeah. Um, best believe that the wizard's there, right? But yeah, that does interest me. It has been six months of, other than, I don't know, what do you think, like a month of uh, douche lifting? Because I was only doing like three sets a day, but even then I was still going to failure on at least one muscle group, one lift per muscle group every, every day. So uh, yeah, I am interested to know 
how much stronger I've gotten, but I think uh, it doesn't really matter how much stronger I've gotten with regards to where I was at a year ago, two years ago. All that matters is how much stronger am I than I was last week, two weeks ago, two months ago, at the beginning of the year. I think that's a sufficient sample size to satisfy my curiosity. <clears throat> Plus, I just don't want to know. Then, <laughs> if anything, I haven't gotten stronger after six months, and then I would want to change things. And really, um, I believe I said that the, said this at the beginning of the filming. This year is not about getting stronger. It's not even about putting on muscle. Really, it's about stoking the flames of my love for lifting. You know, falling back in love with lifting, making it a permanent habit. Because when you're on a cut, it's not like you're going to put on significant muscle. I am putting some on, but my, my expectations are not high. I don't, I don't think of, ah, I mean, part of me believes that recomp is a thing and that a sufficiently obese man could put on significant muscle on a big cut, but, but it's not about that. So, yeah, I think what matters most is just staying the course, improving the technique, improving, improving the mental fortitude, uh, deepening the love, and then I figure somewhere around April 1st, I will uh, be at my low weight, and that's when we will eat at maintenance, if not a slight surplus, uh, for a long amount of time while we put on muscle. But no, no bulking, no 500 calories extra a day. It'll be more so probably just uh, sticking to the same weight and doing less cardio or something. Figure it out at the time. But there's enough studies that show even 50 calories in excess is like sufficient to um, be able to put on muscle. 100, 150, like you're more than fine. 500 is just excessive. And some people dream or bulk and they eat 2,000 calories over what they need and then they have to cut off a bunch of fat. That won't be me. No, no more craziness for me. Hey there. <laughs> oh my gosh, so now Things have turned and now it feels like I've wasted a whole day. I'm just as far away from uh, the finish point as when I started the day. I mean, it's probably not true, but oh my God. Oh my gosh, this stuff is insane. I should just learn coding and stop doing it with AI. Probably be quicker. Oh, it just, God bless it. It just messes up so much stuff keeps making changes and it doesn't work and then it tries something else and it messes up something different and goodness when it's in its wheelhouse you know it can really do well but the more complex it becomes the more confused it becomes and i don't know man i'll figure it out <laughs> trying to laugh through it trying to let it not stop me from going to boxing tonight because I just want to do it. <laughs> I just, what are we at? 6.14 and boxing at 7. And I would, I would prefer to just work for the next six hours. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and now that I say that, I'm becoming more tempted to skip boxing. But then I try to tell myself, you know, my primary job is to get healthy. And that's, that'll help in that regard. But I don't know, man. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, I'm going through it. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah.
this. I'm telling you, man, it is wild. It is wild. Ugh. Ugh. I was so close. And then it just kept getting more and more complex and it kept, kept adding things and changing things and it got more complex and then things started breaking and, ugh. Man, yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wonder how many hours I've spent this week uh, trying to get this done. Oh. And then my mind sometimes goes like, oh, do I just go back to the original file and then try to add all the new stuff? I mean, it feels like there's just something fundamentally broken about the page at this point. But I know that's not real. That's a good pump. It feels good. <sighs> okay, finally moving up to 120 on the low row. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Okay. I wish I would have just stuck with the freaking simplified swiping. Paid somebody when the website got big enough. Like, it doesn't need to be perfect right now. It's, yeah, that, that's why you have to like have a plan and say these are the things that are absolutely necessary. Finish all the absolute nece absolutely necessary stuff. And that's when you decide to improve upon it. And you don't actually change the main site, but you spin up a different instance, like a test instance or test pages. So you don't mess with the original code. I mean, there's it's all kind of little housekeeping stuff and administrative stuff that I'm just... I'm teaching myself now, so yeah, I, I will say as much as it sucks, it's such a learning experience. My my methods are refining because I'm finally getting hip to the the problems of being undisciplined, the risks, the costs, time wise especially. Uh. Oh, yeah. <sighs> nope. Six it is.
That felt good for the first few reps and then the strength kind of dissipated. Kind of disappeared on me all at once. Okay, another day, another ounce. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I was going through it about 15 minutes ago. And then I decided, you know what, I said, I got to a really good place about, at about one o'clock today. And then I decided to go for the gusto and I saved all those files, so it's not like it's lost progress, but Broke a lot of things, fixed a lot of things, progressed a lot of things, regressed a lot of things. Just a mixed bag, right? So then, um, you know, I just decided, I didn't realize it at the moment, but I just decided, you know what, let's just get the functionality back. Let's just make it so if you swipe on profiles, they move either higher or lower in the rankings work based on the swipes, uh, only factoring in the right swipe because that's what I've been toiling over is, or yeah, the right swipe and the left swipe. So what I've been toiling over is that the right swipe should not only give you a win, it should give a loss to the non-swiped person. And similarly, if you do a left swipe, that should actually cause a boom for the other person. So at any rate, I decided to return the functionality. And within five minutes, it was fully functional app again. If you only the men go on the men page, only women on the women page, if you swipe uh, right on the profile, it's higher on the leaderboard. If you, uh, if you don't swipe right, if you swipe right on competitors, it moves down on the page, right? Wow, there's a lot of people out right now. So I did that, and then I realized, you know what, I'm in a good position. And I realized that I had actually been shifting the goalposts. Just as I stopped this camera, another dog went nuts on him. Kind of a standard poodle. He's barking like crazy. And yeah, there are a lot of mosquitoes out right now, even though my legs are freshly washed. So, basically, I realized I'd shifted to the goalpost that really, I only realized that, hi there that uh, no swipes weren't being registered and that the left swipes weren't affecting the, the rankings. Um, why that was, I don't know. I just, I guess I just assumed because I had asked for it or maybe I assumed because I thought about it for so long that it was part of the functionality that he understood it, I don't know. In either case, that was just out of my purview, let's say like last week when I started all this. And basically, last week when I figured out a way to do the containers different, the design different, <clears throat> uh, where I'm at right now is exactly what I was hoping for. And it's exactly what I've been struggling with. I think up until yesterday morning, I think that was the first time it occurred to me. So. It's just, for me, it's like a little ridiculous for me to act as if this new thing that came up yesterday is part and parcel of what was like a week-long journey. And like, how sick is that? Hey there. How are you all doing today? Hi. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Aw, look at how pretty she is. Oh, yeah. Bigger than him? No, no, I'm, I'm talking about. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> they see me. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at that pretty girl. Dang, there's a lot of mosquitoes. Oh, man, they're just flying around me. And I've gotten a few bites this morning. Oh, I hate walking down the path during mosquito season, especially on these humid days. At any rate, um, so I just realized how unfair it was 
to do that to myself. And it's like, is it really the most important thing that the that non-swipes get registered as you know, either wins or losses, like at this juncture? Hey there. Filming is a little bit different. Well, there's so many people around. Oh my gosh, now his girlfriend's coming. Well, why don't you just say hi for a minute and then I'll turn off the camera. They are really cute together. Hey there. Thor, look who it is. You want to say hi? <laughs> How are you both doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Hi there. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Be nice. That's how she flirts, huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they haven't opened it up yet, right? I know, I think people have been squeezing back here, though. I saw, I saw someone else there. I saw Louie and his mom, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, at any rate, um, yeah, it's just not crucial at this juncture, especially it's not like the site is live yet. And there are other things I need to work on. I need to deploy it to my, my domain name. I need to, and then once I do that, I can get the Apple, Facebook, and Google logins uh, situated. I've set them up, but there's a couple steps you have to do to solidify it. So, uh, I'm... Ultimately, I'm growing more than I would if I would have figured it out. Uh, and yes, that's called uh, horror logic, tortured logic, copium, whatever you want to call it. So obviously I would prefer to have <laughs> figured it out and fixed it just for that cheap thrill. But ultimately, uh, the recognition of when you're starting to get beaten and bloody from bashing your head against the wall and realizing that the time is not now for that battle learning to pick and choose your battles and uh, let sense take over your ego. I think ultimately that is a bigger win, so I'm feeling really good about it. And then I was ready to, so I didn't want to go to boxing after I talked myself out of it. Oh no, now it's raining. Thor hates the rain. Oh, Thor, oh, he's like, um, I go home. You want to go home? Go get Pup Cup or you want to keep walking? Oh, he hates the rain. He eats sprinklers, he eats, well, he does like hoses when, no eat that garbage. He loves garbage day, he loves to eat nearby garbage. Um, he does like the hose on the deck. He likes to bite at it and drink out of it, but if you hit him with it even once, he'll stay inside for the rest of the day, if not week. Um, it's actually a nice little summer, summer rain. Very refreshing. So that was like a whole whirlwind thing. I finished lifting at maybe 6.30, fixed it by 6.40, and then decided, you know what, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, take a shower, go to boxing. And I did that, and as I was leaving, Thor was looking at me, I'm like, oh, I know it's gonna rain a little bit, which it has, but I just, I can't do it. He's been good all day waiting, watching me work. And uh, the thought of leaving him to go exercise by doing boxing versus taking him on a walk, he's, it wasn't all that palatable of a decision. So here we are on our rain walkies. The rain's probably attracting more mosquitoes to us, which is lovely. But yeah. I think uh, sometimes all you need is a shift in perspective, right? And I'm certainly feeling a lot better. Uh, I will treat this as a victory. And I will uh, take off the rest of the night as much as I don't want to. So I could get a good night's sleep, watch some American Ninja Warrior. Peace. He's trying to dry off. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, he doesn't like being rainy. He doesn't like being wet. I tried drying him off with a towel. Let's see. He was rubbing on the couch, rubbing on his bed. Go ahead, for it. Don't be, don't be camera shy. Show us how you dry off. 
Oh, it was so cute. I wish I wouldn't have missed it. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and dry off. You're such a good boy, aren't you?